we are asked to translate the expressions and equations to words. The first expression is two times the quantity x plus seven, but we're asked to use words such as sum, difference, product, and quotient to describe the expressions and equations. So because we have two times the quantity x plus seven, we have a product, and because of the plus sign here, we also have a sum. And therefore we can describe this as the product of two and the sum of x and seven. So again, we have the product of two and the sum of x and seven. For the next expression, we have three divided by the quantity five minus x. Because we have division expressed by this fraction bar, we have a quotient, and because of the subtraction, we have a difference. We can describe this expression as the quotient of three and the difference of five and x. So again, we have the quotient of three and the difference of five and x. Notice the next two have equal signs and therefore we have equations. We have six x equals 28 because six x means six times x. We have a product here and we can replace the equal sign with the word is. We can describe this equation as the product of six and x is 28. The next equation is x equals nine divided by x. Because we have division here, we have a quotient, and therefore we can say x is the quotient of nine and x. This is how we can describe these expressions and equations using these key mathematical words. I hope you found this helpful.